Commutators are a situation in which you have three pieces, usually corners, that you need to swap. And you can do that with something that is an x, y, inverse of x, inverse of y. So basically what you do is you do x, y, inverse of x, inverse of y. The easiest way to do comm commutators is to have it set up so that you have a color that matches a side somewhere but it's not in the right spot. What you can do is you can find the other piece with that color on it and push it into that spot like that. It's kind of like a hide sort of thing. And then what you do is with one move you swap out that piece with the unsolved piece then you undo the moves that you used to put it in there and then undo those moves. They can be a lot harder to see when there are distractions around the cube. You can tell that this, this, and this are not solved. However, if you can figure out that there are three corner swap and you can see that this matches up to this center without being in the right spot, then you can still figure out how to do it. You put it in, swap it out with the other unsolved piece, undo both those move sets, and you can have all the corners done. You can do the same thing with groups of pieces. Like for example, if you have corner edge pairs, you can see the color matching up, but it's not in the right place. So you put it in, swap it, like that, move it, and it's pretty much the same. So what you need to do is actually do the swap out move first, and then you can put it in there more easily. Then undo that, then undo that. Perhaps I forgot to mention this earlier, but it's important that when you're swapping out this piece with this piece, that you not disturb anything else in that layer. With edges, you can also do this simple thing, though, where you... It's kind of a commutator, and it's kind of not. Basically, you just do like a M prime U2, M U2. It's easy. There are algorithms that you probably already know that are commutators and you just don't know it. For example, this one, this F2L algorithm, is kind of an abstract commutator. But you can see you have the move, the other move, then undo both those moves. Sometimes you will come upon a situation where a normal commutator will not work. Like you can see here, this color matches up but isn't in the right spot and this, but there's no easy way to swap stuff out. And to solve these, you have to conjugate it. Now to conjugate it, you pick one of the pieces and rotate it 180 degrees. So what you do here, you look and find a new piece that matches up with the face, but still isn't in the right place. And then you look at this and see that it needs to swap out to match up with the green. And so you have, you swap it out like that. You move the other piece in, swap it out, undo that move, and then undo the conjugate. The most famous conjugated commutator is probably the edge or the corner orientation PLL. You can see you conjugate it, you move the new piece in, swap it out, and undo the moves. Commutators are something you have to understand more than just learn. So I'm going to give you some algorithms and you can just look at them and you can learn more about commutators just by examining how they work. Um, this one, R prime, F prime, L prime, F, R, F prime, L, F. And the same situation, but a different algorithm. P 
L prime, B prime are B L B prime R prime. L2, F2, L, B2, L prime, F2, L, B2, L. And the opposite of that, which I think I showed you. L prime, B2, L prime, F2, L, B2, L prime, F2, L2. R2, F prime, R2, F prime. L, F, R2, F prime, L prime, F2, R2.